All right, guys, so after many, many months, many, many months, like nine months, the update is finally here after a really long time, and I'm ready to play it. And it is a storyline update, as you can see. Raccoon is right there. I'm ready to talk to him. And yeah, we're going to watch this cutscene, and we're going to see what happens. Sasquatch, you've gotten a problem. Grab all the animals and let's go. Ooh, sounds like a typical start, but can't wait to get into it. Look, Mr. Pepperton's on the television. News of Billiam. Pemberton Jr., can you tell us about your upcoming election campaign? Also, look, uh, if you look at the bomb text, you can see that um, that's also showing the news. It's pretty cool. I'm going to fix all the problems here in town which, with my four-point plan. First, I'm going to tackle the ongoing vitamin C crisis that's been playing, plaguing our town. I wonder who's responsible for that. We'll never know. I'll force the federal government to give us access to strategic national stockpile of oranges. That sounds fantastic. I'm sure the townspeople will be thrilled. What's next? I'm going to do something that no one has the guts to do before. A negative tax rate of 10% to boost the economy. I was actually using an advanced technique there called lying. For every 10 coins you spend, we'll give you one coin back. Not gonna lie, that, that does sound kind of nice. Anyway, I'm no economist, but that sounds delightful. Next, I'm going to start construction on some luxury condominiums or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. That the town desperately needs. Everyone who votes for me will be entered into a raffle to win one of them. All right, well, that's just bribery, but go on. Bribery is a federal offense, sir. Are you sure that's legal? Where will we be building these uh, blanks? We have a construction site already picked out, but unfortunately, it's been delayed several times. Sure, buddy. Dot, dot, dot. Which brings me to my fourth and final point. I will be releasing my father, Mr. Penty, who's been falsely in prison. Dude, he, he, uh, he poured, he, or I don't know, I, I don't have any jokes. He was framed by one of his executives, and I'll make sure he's set free immediately. Fantastic, or fascinating. It sounds like, it sounds like quite the campaign. Best of luck to you, Pepperton Jr. Doesn't sound good. But yeah, no kidding. Um, let's head back to the tree and come up with a plan. Yeah, that sounds like a good first step. If Mr. Pemberton becomes the mayor, we're in big trouble. Bear, can, we can win a blah, 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 though. Maybe he's not so bad. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What, what the f***, man? Get song. Well, no, because he's going to demolish the campground. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sasquatch needs to run for mayor and defeat Pemberton Jr. Also, I just realized there's a uh, credit stuck right there. You can see him. Nice. If we all work together, we can do it. The first thing we're going to need is an election headquarters. Oh, are we going to like build it or something? That'll be a piece of cake. Just give me some lumber and I'll start work immediately. Yeah, I was right. All right, everyone, let's get started. Well, when, that's probably my favorite intro to, an, uh, to, a, to a new storyline. So basically the plan is I'm going to build this place. It's going to be amazing. And then I'll be back with you guys. All right, my man. Uh, show me your construction progress. Pro projects. Sorry, I can't pronounce anything. Are you ready to get started in the he election headquarters? Yes, sir. If you have the lumber and coins, we can get started right away. Oh, that's really cheap. Only 5,000 coins? I mean, that's not that bad, right, guys? I mean, that's not terrible. All right, team, let's get to work. All right. Get working. Get your minimum wage work completed. Oh, look at this. All finished. On time and under budget. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, you're right. Great work. It's got everything we need for a successful election campaign. We've also assembled a crack team of experts on human behavior to help us win. Dang, we're like Vsauce now or something. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. And here. Michael here. Speak of each, we, speech of, speak of each expert and they'll share their wisdom with you. Our team will also get the latest polling numbers for Graph in the Corner. We need at least 50% to win. Oh, that looks like the sneak peek. That's pretty cool. I'll be tracking your tasks up to the whiteboard. Each step leads us closer to winning. Now let's get to work. Oh, there's a lot to unpack here. Also, you see this song over here? It kind of looks like the Giga Chad meme. Is that just me? That looks like the Giga Chad meme. Weird. Uh, let's talk to Raccoon first. Hey, Sasquatch, take a look at the whiteboard and start taking care of those tasks. If you have any questions, talk to those ducks over there. There's no way you won't get elected for a super team like that working for us. And it just says or for mayor, because that's my name. Yeah, uh, I'm going to change my name real quick and I'll get back to this. All right, so I'm back. I changed my name to Spencer Yes, and now let's talk to everyone. This is the first guy. 
Billboard duck. Hey Spencer, yes, I mean Sasquatch. According to my research on the humans, they can't resist a billboard with a juicy phone number on it. Hello, your computer has virus. You should rent some billboards advertising our election headquarters. Phone number 5058683. Where a human calls in, we tell them exactly who to vote for. Huh, interesting idea. I'll try that now. All right, hear me out, guys. So for my campaign, I decided to make this my billboard. Vote me for short people rights. Called us and then it shows a number. See, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> I'm just a short person's activist pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much, I just wanted to show you that. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so we have that over with now. So let's check out the other ducks. Let's see what they have to say. Greetings, future mayor. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Friendship Duck. I've spent years researching human friendship. According to my research, humans always vote for their friends, no matter how unqualified they are. So obviously, if you want to get the election, if you want to get elected out there, you need to start making friends of humans. I've compli I'm compiled all my research into a handy little book. It's my life's work. Oh, it's like a little book? Oh, you get a friend's book. I've never actually had a human friend before, but I've spent a fair amount of time watching them from the bushes. Alright, well that's just creepy. Bruh, you looking real sussy over there. <laughs> Good luck and have fun making friends. The election depends on it. Thank you very much, Doc. All right, let's check out this guy. Howdy. I've been observing human behavior patterns for weeks now, and I have some shocking conclusions. Humans always do what Simon's telling them to do. It's so simple. They see a stop sign, guess what? It makes them stop right in their tracks. So my theory is that if we just put up signs that say vote for Spencer, yes, they will. Don't ask me how, but I borrowed some printing supplies and some, and some election signs made up. I mean, really, don't ask me how. I'm serious. Don't even think about asking. All right, man, I, I wasn't going to, all right? I had some signs post-construction, but it's cost too much to have extra signs to have the sign attached. Grab a handful of signs, find those sign posts, and start putting them up. Good luck. Okay, this seems really grindy, though. I might do this off camera. Hiya, pal. I spent my whole life studying the intricacies of human handshake. It used to be merely a hobby, but now it's so much more. Anyways, humans love a good handshake, so they're powerful people will even vote for you. If you want to be elected, you're going to have to handshake a lot of human hands. You'll need to learn the secret to a good handshake first. All right, man, you, you teach me. I learned from the best, my uncle. He lives over in the island. Oh, yeah, Rich Uncle Doug. I, I know that guy. He's pretty cool. He's very successful due to his great handshakes. I'll show you a secret technique. <laughs> Wait, what? It's just... All right, man, this is... I guess it's the secret, the guys. I mean... Wow, you're a fast learner. It took me years to become that good. You should get to town or something with lots of people and start shaking hands. Yeah, I, I should do that. Don't bother anyone working, though. Only talk to people with nothing better to do. So basically, people like me. That's why I'm making this video, so. Anyway, that's all the people. So it seems like this is going to take a really long time. So I'm going to do all this grinding off camera, and I'll see you soon. All right, so I did some grinding off camera. So basically, I did the entire merit campaign and it took me over three hours to finish this. So yeah, it's pretty grindy, but it's worth it. To summarize what I did in the meantime was basically, I set up billboards. I set up billboards for my campaign. I made friends because friends are in the game now, which is super cool. I can make friends and I'm no longer a loser who has no friends. Uh, another thing I did was I did handshakes, which is pretty self-explanatory. I just handshake a set amount of people. Not too, too interesting. And then there was one more thing. I believe it was the billboards. Yeah, it was the signs. Basically, I hung up signs all around town and got people to vote for me. So I did that. It took like three hours, like I said. It took a little while. And I'm finally ready to start this storyline. What you got for me, raccoon? Wow, you completed everything on the list. I'm not surprised, though. You never failed to impress me, Sasquatch. Me neither. But if you're polling numbers and have a good chance to beat Mr. Pepperton Jr., that bastard. Oh, what a coincidence. Election day's today. We'd better get over to the town hall right away. All right, well, let's get started. It's time to vote, Sasquatch. Make sure to vote for yourself. Every vote counts. I can't go inside a few, so let's meet the, uh, the campground where you're finished. What if I don't vote for myself, though? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm not even going to vote for myself. Watch, look. Oh, who's this person? Hello, I'm going to need some identification before you vote. And then it's just my driver's license. See? All right. Thank you. Okay, your name is Spencer. Yes, just a candidate for just a candidate for mayor. What a coincidence. Yeah, we'll just call it a coincidence. Definitely. Uh, anyway, I got my ballot. Which is perfect, so now I can vote with this, I believe. I think that's how voting works. Take the ballot over to a voting booth and make your choice. 
with pleasure. Once you're done, place a ballot and put the box besides me. Okay, well, where do I do that though? Oh, oh, it's here, okay. So I have to vote for one. Either Mr. Pemberton Jr. or Spencer, yes. You know what? I've been a bit hard on the guy. Let's vote for him. <laughs> you know, let's do that. <laughs> okay, if I lose because of this, I really hope I don't lose, but we'll see. All right, here we go. I have way too much beef jerky, by the way. All right. Thanks for voting. Yep. All right, well, let's get started. This should be easy. Attention candidates. The polls will close soon to start making your way downstairs where we begin counting the votes. Exciting. Can't wait. All right, well. It's time to start counting the vote. Spencer, yes, if you can stand on my right and Pemberton on my left. All right. All right, let me fire up the match here. All right, well, this is a, hopefully this works. Uh, you having a bit of trouble there? No, 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 it seems to be working, all right. I don't know how this works, actually. Now I'll start the conveyor belt. Yeah. I've actually never seen one of these machines before. All right, let's see what happens. Imagine just like one, imagine I win by like one vote or something. That's like movie material right there, if I just win by exactly one vote. But we'll see. It seems like he has the upper hand though, which is not good. Like he's winning by like five votes. Uh, I'm not looking at my odds here, really. Um, come on. Come on. Come on, man, you got this. Bro, I called it, dude. I won by exactly one dude. I knew it. That's exactly what I expected. Yes! 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 It looks like Spencer Yes is the winner by only one vote. Wow, what a coincidence. How convenient. Definitely not plot armor. Definitely not. Anyway, just handshaking. Yes, sir. I get to be mayor. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Mayor Spencer. Yes. You should head home and celebrate. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. Indeed. I don't know what's specifically happening tomorrow, but... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, hey, Mr. Ranger. How you doing? All right. Where are the animals, Sasquatch? I came for... I came for the celebration, but they're all missing. Let's look around. Maybe someone saw something. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's Duck's hat. There's cake. Oh, yeah, because they put cake in all the outfits. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, can I go in the raccoon shop? I can. Hmm. I'm really confused right now. What the hell? This is really weird. Can I go inside my house? I can't go in my house? Aw, uh, that sucks. Let's check up the lumber mill, actually. Maybe it's up here. Maybe someone's up here, maybe construction ducks. Maybe they think, oh, wait, it's the credit duck or rich duck, I don't know. Sasquatch, it's good to see you. I was getting ready in my usual spot, but then a man with a top hat came, took all the animals, it was horrible. Hey, that duck's wearing a hat just like, wait, this has to be Mr. Pepperton's doing. Let's go pay him a visit to at the jail. Yes, sir, or no, sir, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Okay, this is getting even weirder than I'm at a police station. Nope. Hey, sir, can I please leave? Nope. Okay, I nope. guess not. <laughs> it's just intrusive thoughts or something, I don't know. Let's talk to this nice young man. Surgeon Spencer, yes, the chief would like a word. He's over by the holding cells. Oh, well, well that explains it. Uh, looks like he broke out. Um, maybe he used my glitch guy video because I remember I did do a glitch video on that. Huh, guess he's a subscriber, nice. Anyway, um, police chief, I have some bad news, Surgeon Spencer, yes. During the election, Mr. Pemberton escaped from prison right after our nose. Dang, there's a sneaky guy. You're my best detective, so I'm putting you on the case. Use this special camera filter to help you look for hidden clues. You got a crime filter. Ooh, a crime filter. Camera filters will change how your photo looks. You're switch you can switch filter rates using the camera settings. Huh. You'll be taking a lot of photographs down there, so here's some film too. I mean, I already have plenty, but thank you, thank you, sir. Um, now go down there and hold and track him down. Good luck, Surgeon Spencer, yes. Huh, okay. All right, well, here. I mean, there's no way to go back down from this point. Let's check out what it is. Ooh. Wait, what, where does this go, actually? Let me check. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the main sewer area. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, let me uh, get the camera out real quick, and let me look at the prime filter real quick. So it's here, crime filter, and then I put to zero seconds. 
Oh, look at that. There's footprints. Yo, that's pretty cool. So if I just, let me try this again, right? Here, footprints. Uh, this might actually take me a while, so I'm gonna cut the video until I reach it. I will show some interesting stuff, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, see you soon. It looks like someone stopped for a drink. It looks like there's another trail of footprints I keep going. Oh, I see. Prime Mr. Pemberton Jr. because he eats sludge. Or he drinks sludge, rather. <laughs> Interesting encounter. Wait, what's over here? Wait, what? Oh, there's a hat. Someone forgot their top hat here. Oh, I wonder who it is. Looks like there's another trail of footprints that keep going. Wait, so they go back up? Oh yeah, they do go back up. Interesting. I think I found the end, guys. Yeah, I think I'm at the end now. It took a little while, but I think I finally found it. Right? Let me keep checking. Yeah, yeah, look, there's footprints here. And it's at the end of the area. I think I finally found it. It took me a while, but I think I finally uh, found this. It did take, yeah, ages. Oh, it's Fox. Fox Mischief, hey, my man, how you doing? Hey Sasquatch, funny seeing you here. I was on my way to your party, but then I saw the top hat guy down here and I just had to follow him. But he's in the parties, I never really saw him in the parties. Weird. I eventually lost his trail at the port though. Are you trying to follow him too? Yes sir, I am. All right. <laughs> I knew it. I can help you track him down though, follow me. We shouldn't talk out here. Oh, what, what do you mean? Are we gonna do some mischief in his lair? Yo, that sounds awesome, man. I can't wait. Welcome to my den. I've been here before. The first thing you're going to have to do is get your binoculars and up the ladder to the port. Then check every corner where the top guy is hiding. Then find him and come back to me. Oh, this must be secure three. That's the only explanation I can think of. Cause I check in the top corner and then there's secure three and then something interesting is happening there. Uh, regardless, I'm about to fall asleep. So I'm going to cut the video again and I will see you guys very soon. The next day. All right, well, it's the next day and I'm going to check up here. So I think if I get the corner like right here. So basically, I'm going to use my binoculars and yeah, let's see if I, if I can find anything actually. Oh, there is stuff going on. Oh, weird. Can I like get a closer look? You found Mr. Pebbets and Hagen Secure Warehouse 3. Go tell Fox. Oh, and look, there's Raccoon and Bear in there. And then there's his, uh, that's his uh, former goon. Actually, it's his current goon. The other guy um, just laid low i wonder what would have happened if he didn't release him interesting um but yeah i this is pretty cool i'm gonna see you guys pretty soon i'm gonna do the next part of this all right guys i'm back i did the thing as you just saw so i'm gonna talk to fox again what you got for me let me guess they're in secure warehouse three of course i'm not surprised there's always suspicious peep looking people over there <laughs> if you want to bring down the operation you'll just have to get inside that warehouse now, to have any chance of getting in, you'll have to be a junior supervisor at the port. Supervisors have access to everything. Come back and talk to me after you've done that. Well, you're looking at him right here. The best man on earth, the biggest Chad ever. But yeah, anyone would talk to him again. Nice work, Sasquatch. Yeah, I just stood here. This next part is easy. Go up to the second floor of the admin building and find the code for secure warehouse three. It's probably one of the filing cabinets in the restricted area, but you have access as junior supervisor. Come back and talk to me once you've done that. Uh, yeah, he's right. That is easy. I will be back. I will show myself getting the code and yeah, see you in like three seconds. All right, guys. So I just, I just got the secure three warehouse code. I'm balling. I'm doing great. And yeah, let's talk to Fox. What you got for me, man? You got the code. It's time for us to sneak into the secure area. Let me show you the secret way in. Ooh, I like secrets. What you gonna show me, man? You probably think this is a big heavy crate, right? You all, we'll see. It's a fake made of styrofoam, haha, <laughs> watch this. Wow, that's pretty cool. This way will lead you to the back entrance of Secure Warehouse 3. Find the cargo elevator down there and I'll meet you at the top. Don't forget to put your sneakers guys down or you're gonna need it. I bet I will. It can't be that bad, guys, right? It can't be that bad. Okay, yeah, it is that bad, okay. I I, I need the disguise, gimme, give gimme. Give also, sneaking shoes, gimme. Give All right, I can actually see anything now. Uh, let me just speed run getting across this strip thingy. All right, sneaky, sneaky. They'll never see it coming. 
Oh, it was, but okay, that's weird. All right. A surveillance camera. Stay out of the vision cone to avoid detection. Oh, so this is kind of like Bob the Robber from like Cool Math Games. I don't know if any of you guys remember that game, but it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of that game. All right, well, let's get through this. Or right, what's up here? All right, time to keep running. Oh, there's a guard. Okay, well, um, sir, sir. All right. Okay, I need to hide. I need to hide. Oh, oh God. Hey, man. Wait, there's the pancakes. There's the stolen pancakes. We finally found them. Yes. I'm stealing all of them. Yes. All right, move, man. Get out of here. All right. All right, time to keep going. Oh, there's more cameras. Wow, it's almost like this place is secure. Wow. All right, time to keep going. Go. <laughs> the crates just say illegal. <laughs> they just had to reassure the. They just had to reassure me that's illegal. Thank you, game. Thank you. I appreciate it. And this guy's just watching TV. Run, 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 run. Oh god, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Oh god, run. I, I'm gonna go into this camera system. What's up here? Oh man. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move these cameras. I don't want them to see me. Oh my god, that's scary. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. Okay, that, I can't move those. Alright, keep sneaking. Keep going. Alright, time to leave. Let me up. They're Mission failed. We'll get them next time. The power. Oh man. Dang it. So close. Uh oh, it's in there. Let me go uh, move those crates so I can open it. Works. I don't know what I expected. It worked. All right. Well, I expect this machine to be very loud, so I won't talk over it. Because if I do try to talk over this machine, it'll be super loud, probably. All right. Well, take me up. I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> Yeah, I was right, it's really loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it now, but yeah, it's super loud. Okay, well. Let me up, brother. Alright, sneak, sneaky. Gotta go. Alright, Fox, thank you for being with me. I look at these boxes, dude. Dude, I love boxes. Wait, let's, what's up here? Oh, there's a cage. Oh, I'm on you, game. You're gonna cage me later, aren't you? Dang it, I knew it. Oh, the camera's off. Weird. Let's get in here. Oops. Let me in. FBI, open up. Let me in. All right. Oh man, all my homies are trapped in here. Don't worry, I got you. I got you, fam. All right, let me all, let me. They should. They all deserve freedom. Get out of here. All right, I'm a hero. Please leave a like, cause I'm a hero. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right. Does a little thing. That's a victory sign. We're, we're doing great. Surely nothing will happen. Oh, wow, what do you expect? Something happened. Wow, what a surprise. Very surprising. <laughs> it's just a massive dun 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 sound effect. I like that. Well, 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 if it isn't my favorite executive, Spencer, yes. Don't worry, your furry friend here is unharmed. I see that. I'm sorry, Sasquatch, I couldn't get him. They grabbed me while I was watching. I was eating popcorn. Just kidding, I made that part up. Now let go of me. Oh, damn. Bro, he got him. He did him dirty. Let it go, Junior. We already have what we want. Spencer, yes, I know the one's been foiling all my plans, and you have to put that disgusting in jail. But I also figured out your big secret. And I'm going to tell the entire town. I'll be the hero, Junior will be the mayor, and you'll be displaying the zoo forever. Oh no. We've blocked off the exit so you can't escape. Capture that Wait, who even blocked it off? There's no way you'll get away from here. Here I come. Hey man, how- Oh no! Oh, go, go. Oh yeah, they paired. They- Ha ha. Can't catch me. Oh, I don't no. think you have any idea how fast hey, I'm Hey man, let's here. reason. Let's talk about this. Let's talk. Wait, no. Okay. He's he's slowing down. Fatty. Oof, I shouldn't have even stole pancakes right before this. Now I'm warmed up. Oh, he ate the pancakes. So yeah, he did steal the pancakes. Also, my accusation of calling him fat was true. You're in big trouble. I'll get right here. I come. No, please. Oh, no. 
Hey, Mr. Pemberton. Hey, you're, he's just watching. He's just chilling there. He has front row seats to this absolutely amazing action. Oh, God. Come on. Stop making this harder than it needs to be. How about you stop making this harder than it needs to be? Come on, man. Oh, God. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, he's actually catching up. Oh, no, oh, no. Go, 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 go. Ooh, my legs. He's really low, though. I can almost get him. Give up, man. Time out. All this ring has made me thirsty. Hey, man, you can't call time out. Oh, man. I'm just letting this happen. Oh, no, what's he doing? Disgusting. Okay, for once, I'm actually going to have to agree with Mr. Pemberton here because that is actually really disgusting. Oh, baby, that's good stuff. Wait, some things doesn't feel right. Do I need to get to the bathroom? No, it's something else. What the hell? Oh my god. I feel strong. Was that like meth or something? What? <laughs> Here I come, Sasquatch. Oh god, that's a oh no. Crate, protect me. Oh god. <gasps> Why are there oranges? Oh god. <gasps> wait, let me. Oh, I can use them. Wait, wait, wait. Prepare to meet your doom. Wait, come on. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually pretty scary. Die. Oh god. Stop being like the Hulk or something. Oh no. Get it. Take that. Take that. Take that. Oh god. No, 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 no. <laughs> Die. Wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to apologize. Let's just, let's just call a truce here. Okay, he's not listening. He's not on board with my plan. Okay, come on. Oh god, I'm scared. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, I'm almost dead. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Here it comes, Sasquatch. Oh no. He's gonna go into, like, super anger mode. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, run, run. Wait, no, he... Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Bro, this is hard. No, I'm not really. I, okay, I don't want to jinx myself. Yo, this is overpowered, dude. He he stay. I don't know how long he stays stunned for, but I'm just absolutely taking advantage of this. Come on. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. Wait. Quickly, quickly. Yes. Let's go. That was my first try, dude. I'm so I'm so cracked at this game. Oh no, what's happening? He's going down. Get wrecked, man. You suck. That my, the vitamin C must neutralize my sewage strength. That's not fair. You cheated. No, man. You have the ray gun. You, you cheated. Stupid. All right. What's he going to do now? Coward. Well, Spencer, yes. It looks like I'll have to take care of you myself. Ooh. Get ready for the creation as you are faced. I've never lost a fight in my life. I'm not going to lose a primitive fight such as yourself. I mean, you might have just not been in a fight at all. That's also a possibility, but we'll ignore that. On guard, Sasquatch. Oh god, it's taking a while to fill up self guard. This is not looking good. Wait. Oh. Oh no. He's catching up. No. Alright, I'm having my fun. Alright. Any last words? Alright, well. <laughs> he died in one shot. Alright, well, it was a bold attempt. I appreciate his efforts. But he has the strength of an average rich guy. You win, Spencer, yes. I'm old and weak and no match for you. Come shake my hand so we can be done with this hostility. I saw that cage, man. I'm not stupid. Oh, my character forced me to do it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. See, I called it, man. God, I'm dead. Excellent, Junior. Now to reveal your true identity to the entire town. Oh, God, no. Let's get this horrible creature loaded into our truck while we're taking it to town. Bring the forklift around, please. Hey. Hey, I just met you. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, re I immediately regret singing that song. What's going on here? What are you doing here? This is well outside your jurisdiction. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm dumb. I received an anonymous tip that Spencius was to show us I came straight away. You're too late to stop me, and you're outnumbered. Get him, Junior. Hey, look, my homies are here. My friends are here. Yes, sir. Not so fast. I brought friends. Spencer, yes, his friends. Now open that cage. Fine, I'll open it. 
But first, I'm gonna have to reveal Spencer Yes's true identity to all of you. Take off that disguise immediately, or I'll do it for you. You don't have to do anything what he says, Spencer Yes. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Yep, here it is, the big reveal. Behold the fouling, the foul-smelling beast of the forest. Spencer Yes has been a Sasquatch this entire time. Yeah, we know. Oh. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? If you ever saw Spencer just eat something, you know right away. Oh, well, this is awkward. Uh, Mr. Pemberton, what, what do you have to say about this? Let's mention the height. Spencer is gigantic. I wish I, was, I wish I was that tall in real life, dude. I'm like a midget in real life. Their clothing doesn't fit either, and there's fur everywhere. Don't forget that smell, too. That's a dead giveaway. And I'm just like... Now step aside. This is absurd. How have you all gone mad? Yes. I'm going to tell the rest of town about the Sas a Sasquatch can't be mayor. You two aren't going to tell anybody. Oh, that's ominous. You guys take care of Spencer, yes. I'm going to deal with him. Oh. Wait, what? If you touch me, I'll see you. I have powerful friends. Oh. Oh, God. Yikes, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> if only we could send them so far, far away. Wait, is that a Star Wars reference? That's pretty funny. The boat? Oh, we're gonna send them offshore. Wait, we're, if we're sending them offshore, that's kind of like, I don't know. Let me out, never. Spencer, yes, let's talk about this. Do you want money? Nah, I got a YouTube channel. I'll make plenty of money. I make like $2 per video. I'm good. All right, well, I'm just gonna quickly do this. So yeah, see you soon. Time to make your doom. First, Mr. Pemberton, all right. Hope you enjoy the ride. Never coming back. Bye. Wait, what? Oh, what? Okay. Bye, nerds. See you later. Just kidding. All right. Can I stack them, actually? Dude, can I stack them? Dang it, I can't stack them. Zero out of ten update. All right, well, time to send them off to shore. Or, I don't know where they're going. All right, bye, guys. Bye bye. Bon voyage. Bye bye. Go die. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Just go away. <laughs> you guys can see the name. SS never coming back. Yeah. Take that, man. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, that was a pretty fun story. Wow. That was actually really fun. That's probably my favorite one. Uh, yeah. I don't, this video isn't over yet, though. Don't click out. <laughs> you still have to do the party. You saved the day again, Sasquatch. I don't know how that raccoon just... I don't know what that raccoon just said, but great job, Spencer, yes. We have a surprise for you. Everyone pitched in to get you a gift. Here. What is the gift of friends we made along the way? Wait, what is it? Oh, wait, what? What is that? It's a perfect fit. Looking good. Oh, it fits me perfectly, so you can't see my fur. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really sick. This could take some getting used to. Yeah, no kidding. I don't care what everyone else says about Smith. Yes, you're all right in my book. Now that you're friends with... Now that your friends know that you're actually a Sasquatch, they won't care if you're not disguised. Oh, that's so cool. I like... That's so cool, man. Okay, everyone. Three cheers for Sas... For, for Spencer, yes. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Why wasn't Raccoon doing it? What... Ah, oh, okay, whatever. Now let's get this party started. Yay. I win. I'm so good. I'm the best. Yes, sir. Alright. Oh, is it safe to come out? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about you. Good, because you know I have some important things to tell you. Yeah, we gotta read it. Stinky Zuzzo was created by Jesse Ringos and Jason Ennis. Very important details. Very important to the lore. The music was done by Sean the Pin and uh, someone else. Dude, their music is amazing, dude. The music was amazing. Absolutely recommend listening to it. I might do a video on that, though. On uh, posting music. Nicholas did some audio programming. Sounds fantastic. The sound effects were done by these people. Uh, someone else did additional art. The art looks great. Tyler Hitchings did some additional design programming. Special thanks to Jessica, Magnus, and Huey. Oh, that's their dog. And it was produced by Apple. Thank you everyone on the list for creating this game. It's pretty fun. Thanks for playing. Now I need to get to the party. Yep. And that's it pretty much.
All right, well, that's the entire storyline. Um, I'm not done with this yet. I still have to be mayor. You can still be mayor, of course. I'm starving, and yeah. Uh, check out my video I'm going to post soon about becoming mayor. And yeah, uh, peace.